so good afternoon. Um, as uh, Professor Jondo said several times since this morning, I'm a representative of a patient association. It's the Association Belge du Syndrome de Marfan. And I'm also a lawyer. So <coughs> Professor Jondo and Professor Gilles de Bacquer asked me to, to join the ethic committee. And I thank them for them for that. And uh, after that, they asked me to join the inter ORN ethic uh, group which is led by Nicoline Augerbrugge, and she's uh, assisted by uh, Lisette Gipmans, and they are really active in preparing a, a draft for um, regulate the potential conflict of interest that you could have working within the, the ARN. So during the summer, uh, we worked on a first draft that was a kind of a really large document, and uh, I decided to ask a colleague of mine who's a lawyer also, with Bruno Fontaine, that you can see there, who's a real specialist in life science. And uh, he helped us a lot uh, to uh, narrow the scope of the first draft that we submitted. And last Wednesday, we had a meeting with uh, Nicoline and Maurizio in order to prepare the, the first meeting with the, the Board of Member States. And we, this is a slide that I've been presented. And so we, we decided to do something that we wanted to be uh, as light, easy, and practical as possible. We wanted to reuse model existing. And we didn't want to put you a new administrative burden. Uh, being the father of a sick child, I really prefer to see you in the hospital working with the patient than spending time in administrative paperwork. So we want to have something which will be a kind of minimum that will reach the minimum standard. So um, the idea is now that we have to um, we narrow the scope to who are the people who will have to be compliant with this conflict of interest. And there are the people involved in the ERN who will be involved in the decision. The decision about the clinical guidelines, the patient pathways, and other clinical decision. Those people, they have to report, um, report interest not a conflict of interest. They have to report the situation where they are aware that they position, that they're in a position where their own interest can perhaps interfere with the decision. At this level, we organize a system of peer review. Because if we just have a set of rules with no enforcer, it's nonsense. We don't have to waste time on, on trying to put something. So we came with the idea of working with a, a kind of peer review, which will be done by an internal body which will be done uh, with the aggregation, the reunion of the different RN project manager. And if there is a contestation about a decision taken by this body, which will be referred to the Board of Member States. Uh, to uh, make this happen, we are now working on the creation of a code of conduct, and this is the, the next step we are, we are working on. This is the current situation. If you have questions regarding conflict and interest, and I think that it's something you should be uh, concerned about, uh, please send it to, uh, by email to, to me and uh, we will circulate them uh, uh, with Bruno and, and the other. Thank you very much. I, I just want to stress that your participation has been very much appreciated and uh, that uh, the result of uh, the time you spent in front of beers and uh, in front of the chairs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the part in front of, of beer was the, the, the top of the iceberg. Huh? But, uh, okay. uh, I have a question for you. We, uh, who needs to disclose, you say, those involved in the decision. But actually, um, let's say we want to make a leaflet for patients. Those who have to declare are those who are part of the decision of what is in the leaflet or are part of the decision of uh, patient care? Those who have an interest who can come in conflict with the production of the leaflet. Do you have any, an interest that can come in conflict with the production of the leaflet? Uh, no, no, I, it's just a question because I was, as, yeah, I was the, asking this question. The question is question. really for the person who believes that he has a potential interest that will come in conflict with the production of the leaflet. So let's say I'm a, 
I, I'm part. I'm part of a company. I'm part of a company who is promoting this type of drug. Mm -hmm. Or I'm working from part time for this company. I'm writing a leaflet for the patient about the the product from this company. No, something in which it can be used or not. Mm -hmm. Is there a conflict of interest? According to your definition? Uh, the, definition is, the definition, it's open. This is our idea. We didn't want to, to do a kind of, of uh, de uh, definition which will be a kind of a negative definition that will just like limit the scope. The scope, it's open. So when you believe that you're in a situation where you think that there could be a conflict with an interest that you know that you have, you have to submit the question to the, the peer for the, the peer review to the body that you will that you recreate. And if you feel you don't have interest, you have to do nothing. And you do nothing. But if somebody that you know, that is working with you in the RN, suspects that you have this kind of interest, conflict of interest, he will be able to to raise a question in front of the body. But this is a kind of a question that we, are, we will address in the Code of Conduct. OK, thank you. Additional question for uh, Roma? Yes. I could have one, which would be another scope for the conflicts of interest, are the conflicts of interest between our institutions. We're dealing with patients that are seen in various institutions that are very much into big data now, and the value that is that belongs to that, that could be appended to that data, and the sharing of data between institutions can be construed by our institutions as you know, not respecting yeah, yeah, yeah. our institutional yeah, understand, interests. You, you will go, I will yeah. just, you know, bring it out here in the yeah, open. Yeah, That's, yeah, yeah. But uh, that but might uh, be beyond the scope of what was involved there. But it's a question. It's, it's a, a good a question. question. And I think it's an interesting question because we are talking about sharing data, sharing information, make them interoperable. And at the same time, you have this kind of question too. They are my data, they belong to me, I want to keep them. They, they, it will be... A lot of work for lawyers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we with us for a long time. Thank you. <laughs>